In this video, I want to take a look at AI art generation from the three most popular sort of models available to us right now, which is a uh, stable diffusion, Dolly and mid journey. So specifically, I've done the same prompt for each of them. Um, so I haven't played, ar played around with the prompt anything, sort of had one prompt, uh, just sent it to each and uh, taken the best of what we get back basically. Um, and what we can then, so the, the goal of this video is um, to understand uh, which one is best for what use case uh, and also understand sort of what are the features available, uh, what are the pros and the cons basically of these models, right? So uh, the first prompt that I've done here is a person walking in a magical park, dream world magic. So uh, far to the left, we have stable diffusion. Uh, which was released not long ago, just a couple of days ago or a week ago, maybe. Uh, Dolly is Dolly 2. Uh, Mid Journey is Mid Journey version 3. Um, that's what's currently available. So this might change, you know, as further iterations. But as of right now, um, I would say Stable Diffusion in this case, it does sort of a magical world, which is, you know, it does look pretty good, but. Uh, it doesn't look very high detail. The resolution is kind of weird um, and uh, just not so clear. Dolly definitely does a better job, I would say here. Like it's more realistic. Um, you can see the the park, although it doesn't capture the magical, the dream world part or, or the magic part. And the person is not really that clear either. So yeah, Mid Journey on the other, on the other hand, in this case, I would say it does a really, really good job. Uh, it definitely captures the magical par part, uh, the dream world, and the person. Uh, it still does it in sort of a way that looks kind of realistic. So, um, you know, in this case, Midjourney is a clear winner, I would say. Uh, and then followed maybe by Dolly, maybe, and then Stable Diffusion. Uh, but Dolly didn't really capture the magical part. Um, it, it seems in general for me that Midjourney is sort of more artistic. Uh, uh, and Dolly is more realistic, but we'll, we'll, you'll get to that conclusion, I think, when you'll see more examples as well. Uh, so the next one here, we have portrait of a man who looks exactly like Aladdin, photography portrait photograph. So stable diffusion in this case, I mean, it, it, I guess you could sort of guess it's Aladdin by the clothes maybe. Uh, it is realistic, but the eyes doesn't look that well. Um, Definitely some errors in this one, I would say. Um, Dolly does a really, it does a much better job. It seems it captures the eyes. There's still some strangeness going on, but it definitely does a better job. Uh, it doesn't capture the Aladdin part though, which is, it, it, it just looks like a person who has these weird things on his head. I have no idea why he has those actually. Uh, Mid journey does capture it, but it does, it's not as photorealistic. Uh, you know, if you look at it, it, it looks really good. Um, and um, it does capture it by, with the hat and the clothes. Um, but again, it, it's sort of artistic. Uh, the one from Dolly kind of looks more like a photograph. Uh, and then stable diffusion in this case is kind of a bad version of Dolly maybe, um, like just for this example. All right, here's another prompt, the word goddess magnificent typography. So the goal here is to check how well can it do text, basically. Uh, Stable Diffusion does it. It says the goddess and it's misspelled. Uh, and then some other stuff, medges gade. Uh, Dolly just spells goddess, but it also misspells it with a single D. Midjourney uh, decides to do completely by its own and doesn't do text at all. It just gives you an image. <laughs> I feel like that's sort of mid journey. It just does whatever it wants and just does some, it's like, I want to do something cool, take it or leave it, you know? Dolly is like, I'm going to try to give you what you want. I might not be able to. And then stable diffusion is like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like it does its special version. All right. Uh, the prompt here is photograph of a chocolate Labrador dog with blue eyes, incredibly soft fur, brown dog, blue eyes, photorealistic. So here, you know, stable diffusion does a good job, I would say. Uh, it, do, it does look really good. A dolly does an amazing job. Um, 
you know, I guess here you could also spec you could have also specified the angle of the shot. Uh, this is kind of a close up, but uh, you know that's you know we didn't specify that, so that's good. Uh, dolly, I would say is really good. Mid journey, not so good. I would say because it's um, it's just not photorealistic. It's a uh, it's it's very artsy still, and uh, it does look pretty cool, but it doesn't capture the essence of of the prompt. So you know, here I would say clear winner dolly, maybe by followed by stable diffusion and then mid journey. The prompt here is a human anatomical heart made of candy pastel glowing masterpiece. So stable diffusion just a, does a heart with candy in it, <laughs> which is not what I wanted. Dolly and Midjourney both captures the semantics, I would say in this case. Uh, Dolly does it, but it doesn't um, sort of it doesn't look that good. It's not glowing by any means. It's not a masterpiece, uh, but it does follow the prompt, um, so that's good. Midjourney here does follow the prompt as well, but then adds this artistic sort of sense and the, the glowing piece, uh, which I would say does a lot here. So. Midjourney clear winner followed by Dolly and then stable diffusion is just like doing its own thing. The prompt here is a photograph of Earth taken in space, the Earth seen from space, deep space photography, astonishing photo. So stable diffusion here, it does, you know, it does produce Earth in space. Uh, it, it looks green for some reason and then it has a blue border, which I don't know how that makes sense. Dolly is amazing here like it does it's almost I, I imagine this is almost like a photo from its training data it looks like it uh, it looks amazing um, so Dolly really good mid journey I don't know what this is um, it doesn't look like earth it is kind of a planet ish with this cool border it looks cool and that's kind of what you can expect from mid journey mid journey is gonna do something that looks cool it doesn't mean that it's gonna follow your prompt it might need a lot more prompt engineering dolly does what you want but it might not look as cool stable diffusion uh like stable diffusion is good i think because you can play around with the prompt more we'll get to that later but in this case stable diffusion doesn't do that well prompt here is photograph of a lost cute robot in an abandoned city thrilling reality tv film still realistic render so Stable Diffusion does sort of a cool environment, I'd say, but then it just photoshops in this robot here, which doesn't look good at all. Uh, like the, 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 the lighting doesn't match. It just looks like it photoshopped in and doesn't match the background. Uh, Dolly, in this case, does a much better job, I would say. It does match. Uh, it looks really cool. It does definitely looks abandoned. Um, I mean, it does for all three. The environment does look uh, abandoned. Um, uh, Mid Journey also looks pretty cool. Um, it definitely doesn't look as cute as the Dolly one. Uh, in this case, I would say Dolly is a winner. Mid Journey followed by Mid Journey and then Stable Diffusion. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't think Mid Journey has won any of these so far. Stable Diffusion, uh, no. So, <clears throat> you know, if we're just looking at the image, what's produced, I would say, uh, you know. And again, this is only from a few examples. Uh, I know that, for example, Stable Diffusion is much better at sort of anime images, which I didn't do an example of here. Um, but so there might be other subcategories that it does produce much better results in than the ones I've looked at here. But just if we're looking at this small sample size and we're comparing, I would say that Dolly does a better job in general. Uh, it, it, they produce better looking images uh, more realistic. Mid Journey, on the other hand, goes sort of a, another direction and does sort of more artistic uh, images, which is interesting because then it can definitely compete with Dolly. Um, stable Diffusion might be able to do a little bit of both. So I think Stable Diffusion is sort of a middle ground between those two and can definitely produce amazing looking images. Um, so to, to make it actually fair though, let's look at the other sort of comparisons, right? Because the cost is definitely one big thing, uh, and Stable Diffusion is free. You can play around with the prompt forever, as much as you want, and because you can do that, you might actually produce better looking images than you can with Dolly, just because you don't want to do a million different 
prompts for this same thing. Um, Dolly costs, I think it's like, um, like for one dollar you'll get eight prompt, I think. So I don't know, depending on how much you generate and how often you do it, that's that can be cheap or it can be expensive. Uh, Mid Journey is like 30 bucks a month for unlimited access, so I would say medium on that. Uh, customizability, this is a big pro actually. So already huge pro is that it's free for stable diffusion. The another huge thing is that it's it, you can do whatever you want. Uh, and in the stable diffusion video, I showed you how to remove the safety things. So you can generate any images that you want, uh, any keywords, anything. Um, so I mean, it's completely available. Uh, Dolly, on the other hand, there's like you, there's a restricted words, and it's annoying. Like I think there was one I wanted like a an art in the in in. I think it was like Augusta Savage. I wanted something in that style because it was savage. They didn't do the prompt and it was like, hey, we might ban you now. So Dolly definitely bad in that regard. Uh, Mid Journey, medium, uh, it is limited, but uh, sort of much better than Dolly, I would say. For the last one, I'll remove myself. So here we have features. Um, what did I mean by features here? Uh, yeah, so, okay, so uh, basically what you can do, uh, because the fact that you have the weight, stable diffusion is obviously going to be insanely high in what you can do. I mean, you can play around with different latent uh, sort of inputs. You can do an interpolation. Uh, you can do all sorts of things. Uh, you can also do image to image translation or uh, a modify an image. So high feature, uh, sort of what you can do. Dolly. Also, uh, because of its uh, out, out painting effect, so you can sort of uh, remove specific parts of the image, uh, and then you can ask Dolly to fill it in. Mid Journey, you don't have any of those, so I would say Mid Journey uh, low uh, in the features that it has available um, right now. It's probably going to be added in the future. So, uh, who's the winner? Depends on how you are going to draw. Basically, it depends on what you want to generate. Photorealism, I would say Dolly. Uh, art, artistic sense, I would say Mid Journey. But you need to consider the fact that they all have different features, like stable diffusion. You can play around with the weights of the model. You can do a lot cooler stuff. Uh, it's free. Uh, it's available. There's no safety. There's no keyword restriction. Um, Dolly uh, costs a lot more, and. Uh, yeah, so those are sort of some pros and cons. I would say if you have unlimited cash and you're not gonna and you're gonna do something that's not gonna offend anyone, Dolly is the winner based on what you can produce if you're going for photorealism. Otherwise, I think mid-journey, but stable diffusion has its pros. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next video.